Greetings and welcome to the Introduction to Astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 7th of 2020, well, it is titled The Milky Way Over St. Michael's Mount. So what do we see here? Well, St. Michael's Mount out in the distance is actually an island in England, and you can see the little pathway there, which is available at low tide. So when the tide is out, you can actually get directly to the island, but when the tide is in, then it would be much higher, and that pathway would be underwater. Now up in the sky, we see a number of things, including our Milky Way galaxy stretching almost straight up uh, from the mount there. And that is our own spiral galaxy as we see it from within. And we can see some of the dusty, dark dust clouds and the brighter star clouds that make up the plane of our Milky Way galaxy. Now, Milky Way Galaxy is visible from just about any location on Earth, but you do need to have a regular, rel relatively dark sight to be able to see it. Otherwise, the sky brightness will make it look uh, too indistinct from the rest of the sky. So, a relatively dark sight, you're actually able to see that from just about any place. Now, a couple of other objects that we see off to the right, we do see a meteor streaking across the sky. Meteors are a small piece of a comet that burns up in the Earth's atmosphere. So they're actually an atmospheric uh, thing. They would not occur on an object or planet without an atmosphere. We would not see any meteors on the moon, for example. If we were on our moon, then the objects there would just smash right into the surface and churn up the surface into a fine powder, which is the lunar soil that we see. Now, on the other side of the image, we see the planet Jupiter. Jupiter, bright object in the sky here, and one of the brighter planets after Venus that we can see in the sky. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system and therefore is relatively bright, although it is much further away than Venus. Uh, Jupiter will be prominent in the night sky for the remainder of the year. So if you haven't had a chance yet, get out and see Jupiter in the evening sky very close to Saturn. And they're actually getting closer and closer together over the coming months. And when we hit December, then they will actually be very close and will reach their closest approach on December the 21st when they will be as close together in the sky as they have been since the 1600s. Uh, only about a tenth of a degree apart. So very, very close together. Our whole moon is about half a degree in size. So it is about one-fifth of the diameter of the full moon is how close Jupiter and Saturn will be together uh, towards the mid to late part of December. So a chance to see those at that point as well. So that was our picture of the day for September the 7th of 2020. It was titled The Milky Way Over St. Michael's Mount. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Previewed to be unexpected black holes collide. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.